My very first 5 reasons video ever was back in 2013 on my old channel. It was about why I switched from a Canon T3i to a Panasonic GH3 and why I switched to a mirrorless system altogether. So to be fair I will now give you 5 reasons why I've at least for the time being switched back to the dark side and the DSLR. More specifically the Nikon D500. One of the awesome things of the mirrorless was size, and so it is with the DSLR. The grip of a big, chunky camera is just lovely. And quite essential if you want to put on heavy glass, because after a few years of mirrorless we have learned just that. The glass isn't getting any smaller unless the sensor is too. The grip on the D500 is identical to the one on the D750. And if you watched my latest video on which camera I would pick if I could only have one, you know a small pocketable premium compact is for me. So my interchangeable system that requires a bag anyway, well that can be as big as it wants for all I care, no need to compromise. The next reason is another contradiction, the optical viewfinder. Electronic viewfinders are great, but after a month of shooting with the D500 I haven't missed it. In fact I enjoy looking through the lens again. Just like a rangefinder or the optical mode on the X100 and X-Pro2, I feel more connected to the scene when I'm actually looking at it instead of a tiny screen. The only thing I miss is the option of a split second review after the shoot. And too bad live view on a DSLR still isn't even remotely close to the speed of a mirrorless. For video the live view is fine. And by the way the D500 has the same video quality as the D750. It's in Super 35 instead of full frame. Plus this has a 4K mode. It introduces a crop, but it's less than the ever so popular Panasonic GH4 and the Blackmagic 2.5K cinema camera, so definitely manageable. And if you like me deliver in HD, these two lenses lets me cover 27 to 460 mm with a constant f1.8 aperture. Pretty crazy. Thirdly, we have a segment where it definitely is not only fast, but faster than any mirrorless I've ever tried. The autofocus. Hitting the target every single time. Indoors and in lower lighting conditions, forget about it. This is 1DX territory. The D500 is best described as a baby D5. And together with the lovely highlight weighted metering mode, I can get shots faster than ever. Next we have a big annoyance with using mirrorless that is so widely spread, it's basically become accepted as a fact of life. Battery life. In the early days, reviewers would always bash the battery life of mirrorless. I believe the reason they have stopped isn't because it's better, it's because, like me, they have forgotten how awesome it is to have a battery run for weeks of casual use and a full long day of intensive shooting. I seriously haven't switched battery for over a week. And with the grip, it will probably last me a year or so. The last and biggest reason I feel pretty happy that I decided to get DSLR again is a bit more abstract. 
It's simply the feeling I get when using it. I feel joyful. It's like coming home. I don't think I'm gonna be able to explain it. And if you don't have a background in shooting before the mirrorless came along, you might not experience it at all. And I don't know if I would feel the same if I had gotten the Pentax KP as I planned, or if I had bought a more modest enthusiast model, because the D500 is a fully featured top class pro camera. All I know is I love shooting with this camera and will continue to do so as long as I do. That's it, check out my other videos and follow me on Instagram for new pictures every day. And to you that already are, thank you so much. I had my first two images reach 1000 likes and I'm closing in on 10,000 followers. I really appreciate it.